Mr. Bob FPV, thanks for a $10 super chat. I'm having VTX power issues. TBS Unified Pro 32 HV, I think my VTX table is correct. When I change my power to the highest level, it changes to question mark in the OSD rather than one watt. Um, so, Mr. Bob, the first thing I would do in a situation like that is I would look at the LEDs on the Unified Pro 32 HV. When you change to one watt, look at the LED and see if the VTX thinks it's at one watt, okay? And then if it isn't, like it means your VTX table is messed up. Um, for the Pro 32 HV, I'm pretty sure that your VTX table should have 36 as the max value. I don't know why it would go to question mark because what it should do is just show whatever you have in the VTX table tab. What are you doing? I'm looking at your hands. What are you doing with your hands? How are you changing? Uh, how are you changing? Oh, look, that's me. Hey, that's me. Hey, he recorded this literally during this live stream. <laughs> how are you changing the power? Aha. You're not using the OSD menu, are you? How are you changing the power? That's the question. Lewis script. Mr. Bob says Lewis script. Beta, beta flight Lewis script or Express LRS Lewis script, Mr. Bob? Where is it? Race 8, 100. He's changing it here. <laughs> Which Lewis script, Mr. Bob? I'm watching for his answer. It's going to take a second. Ha! <laughs> it's so funny to see somebody watching my live stream. Um, okay, so 1IFPV, if you're using the TBS MyVTX, what is he, what are you using? We need the answer. TBS Agent Light VTX menu. Okay, so it doesn't work when I use Betaflight. I use the Express LRS Lewis script. So, Mr. Bob, uh, so uh, if you're using the, t the Express LRS, what is he using? T is it TBS Agent, my VTX? Or is it Express LRS? I use the Express LRS Lewis script. The way the Express LRS Lewis script works is the, the receiver tells the flight controller, which tells the video transmitter. But I think that the Express LRS Lewis script can command output powers. Like the Express LRS Lewis script lets you uh, command output power level one, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't actually, I think you're choosing a level that isn't supported. Like the, the VTX supports only five levels and you're choosing level six in the Express LRS Lewis script. And that, that's why it's getting confused. So here's what you should do. Here's what you should do. You should look at the LEDs on the VTX as you change the level from one, two, three, four, five. And then when it gets to max power, Keep an eye on what that is. Mr. Bob says the same thing happens when I use Betaflight on the PC. The video transmitter tab. All right, Mr. Bob, I want to see your VTX table. Here is Mr. Bob's VTX table. Let's see if Mr. Bob has got any problems. Yep, you got a, you got a problem, Mr. Bob. You have done screwed up. But the good news, this is good news. Because if you, think about it this way. If you go to the doctor and you say, doctor, I have this problem. And the doctor goes, wow, I, I really have no idea. That's not good, right? So if you go to the doctor and you say, doctor, I got this problem. And the doctor says, oh yeah, no problem. We, we know what to do about that. Like on the one hand, it sucks that you have a problem, but at least they know how to fix it. So here we go. You've screwed up. But the good news is that we know how to fix it. Here's your, here's your mistake, Mr. Bob. Uh, 39 is incorrect. The maximum value is 36. This is your problem right here. Change that to 36. Everything else is correct. 36 is what you want, and then you'll fix it.